This is Dave Baker with the June 2021 Flash Report from LNWM. Uh, generally, May was a positive month for financial markets as we continued to make progress in uh, reopening the economy from COVID, and uh, the data that's come through has validated it so far. In the U.S., with the backdrop of strong GDP growth and 86% of S&P 500 companies beating uh, earnings expectations, we saw uh, positive returns, if not quite the spectacular results that we've seen over the last several months. Value stocks and cyclical stocks uh, continue to outpace growth stocks in a trend that we've uh, seen developed really over the course of the last six months. Overseas, I think you saw investors start to have a little bit more confidence in the European recovery. And in that setting, um, markets uh, that are a little bit more off the run, a little smaller, such as whole, uh, Poland and Hungary did a little bit better. In fixed income, we've talked a lot about rising interest rates and inflation, um, and the consensus prognostication that interest rates would rise has, has been on hold the last couple of months. Um, and that's despite some indication from the Federal Reserve that they might be willing to taper asset purchases sooner than later. Um, one of the key assumptions that's being made by uh, many out there, including the Fed, is that uh, the unemployed would get back to work uh, fairly quickly. And that's an assumption that's been tested over the last couple of months, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. As far as real assets go, the asset class that we look to to protect portfolios from inflation, uh, commodities was again the top performer, uh, but the performance was a little bit more disparate than it's been year to date. You certainly saw the top constituents, gold and oil, perform very, very well. But in the agricultural sector, uh, wheat, uh, corn, uh, soybeans to a lesser extent, all those areas uh, fell quite a bit as concerns eased over weak harvest as their harvest that are upcoming. Looking forward, um, as I mentioned at the outset, we continue to make progress uh, to a world that is less under the reign of COVID and more in long-term management of it. At this point, 40% of the U.S. population has been fully vaccinated. And even if there is um, waning demand for the vaccine, at this point, we still have well more than a million doses being administered every day. And that's keeping us on uh, the schedule for something resembling normality, um, or at least something more normal than what we've gotten used to by the end of the summer. Uh, the focus of the investors does remain inflation, and we've definitely seen uh, an increase at this point with core PCE, for example, up more than 3% year over year, which is certainly higher than ex expectations and, and higher than what we've seen in recent history. Uh, that said, in a number of areas, we've seen a unique disconnect materialize between employers and um, potential employees, um, which is keeping folks from getting back to work. Um, people are concerned with uh, contracting COVID still. They're having trouble uh, negotiating childcare. Um, and then certainly uh, uh, increased uh, short-term unemployment benefits are certainly having impact as well. Uh, so all those things could be conspiring to keep people from getting back to work as quickly. Um, and uh, could be putting a bit of a break on inflation going forward. But our base case remains um, that inflation will accelerate a little bit from here um, and that interest rates will rise up to meet that accelerated inflation eventually, but certainly not something to a degree at this point that we can't account for in portfolios. In terms of what we are doing, I'd like to take a minute just to trumpet some of the work we've been doing in sustainability or ESG, whatever you want to call it, uh, an area that is receiving increase in uh, interest from investors. Uh, at LNWM, we've been helping clients align their values with their portfolios for more than 20 years. So this space isn't something that's new to us. Uh, more recently, we've been devoting energy to providing clients new tools to evaluate the alignment of their portfolios, as well as unique opportunities to invest in more targeted ways. Uh, I am excited to talk a bit more about that further on down the road um, in further editions when it makes sense, so stay tuned for more. But as far as June goes, that's all I have for this month. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.